18 acres on the Otter Tail River up in Purim, Minnesota. This is in Otter Tail County. My name's Miles McLaughlin. I'm gonna walk through this property with you in this video. Things I'm gonna go over are access, utilities, and a lot of common questions we get in these properties. As I click through these photos, I wanna get you an idea of what we're looking at. This is the land. So this is the landing spot. I've been back here to access it as well. It's, it's boat in access on the Otter Tail River. How cool is that? So it's a great spot to maybe geek out, um, hunt. So there's actually an old hunting blind back here that's, that's kind of just rusted away or rotted away. There's some good game trails I noticed when I was back there as well. There's definitely gonna be some bucks that you're gonna spot back here. Um, eagles, bird watching, beavers, a lot of, you know, it's a great recreational property, I'll put it that way. So there's gonna be this grassy area on the property. Um, and you're gonna put in, I'll get to some videos. I have some videos talking about access. You can almost see it from here. If I zoom in, this is the access point. Um, our photographer parked here. I went to this property after they did too. There's a different parking spot. I'll show it to you on Onyx that I like to do. It's off the highway. It's a county owned parcel and it's off the highway. But this is the, the access point. And when I pull up Onyx, it's gonna make a lot of sense. This is me out here. Yeah, these are some photos I took out here paddle boarding. And this is a good depiction. So you put in and you put in like right here and then you just zip around. No, sorry, you put in right here. So you put in right here. It took me, I was on a stand up paddle board. It took me about 15 minutes to paddle to the property. Um, you put in like right here. And I've got some dimensions of the property here. And we're going to get some more bird's eye views of it. Again, you're putting in at this culvert in the road. And like I said, you can access it from this way. Some of the neighbors along this route I took had boat docks. And I'll show you that in the photos. Or you can access it this way. They're about six one way, half a dozen the other. However, this is a better spot to access. This is, takes me, you know, on a kayak, it could probably take you 12 minutes, 10, 12 minutes. Um, on a stand-up paddleboard, I took about 15. I was just a leisure stroll. Um, and it was easy to put in down here, there too. There's a good little like walking trail. You can tell I'm, you know, we weren't the first to put in right there. This is who we bought the land from. You can see this on a, a Otter Tail County's GIS. Um, it's showing 32 acres on a GIS map. The acreage, the deeded acreage is 18.2. So there's some discrepancy. You, you could get a survey. Like some, sometimes things are like lost over time on deeds, an official survey the last survey I think was like from the 1800s or, or early 1900s. So a really long time ago, some hu human error could have occurred over that time. You could get an updated survey on this property. You might find yourself with 25 plus acres or this full 31.83 acreage amount. So there is a little bit of discrepancy. I've seen that with other properties. Really what needs to happen, it's calculated. This, this calculated here on a GIS map, so on Google Earth satellite imagery, it's showing the outline to be about 32 acres. Now, when you actually look at like deeded access that's been passed on forever, it's about 18. Now that discrepancy could potentially get cleared up. You have to go through the hoops to do it, but it's a thought. If you're just looking at it to go recreate, it's not that big of a difference. Um, but again, let's get on to access. You know, what are, what are the access lights? I've, I've got a little depiction here. What you're gonna do is use GPS coordinates and look them up in Google Maps, just like this. The other option you can do, and see it brings me right there, um, there's actually a little parking spot right here and I'll show you on Onyx. So if you have this app, it's great. You have to filter one layer further to get parcel lines like I have. So there's layers and you'll just have to play around with Onyx. I'm sure there's YouTube tutorials. I wanna make one one of these days for our website but I haven't got it done yet. So again, you're, there's a Zorba's right here. Um, so there's a Zorba's next to this property and you're gonna access it right here. This is the county of Otter Tail. This is like a pullout. So you can see this is a pullout right here almost. I parked right here. This is where I parked when I went and accessed a property and I just walked. It's a really short walk with my paddleboard down here and I put in. So if I was gonna do like longer term parking, that's probably where I'd park. So the county of Otter Tail owns this property. I think that's totally fine to park. It's a little pull off off the highway there. Again, this is a Zorba's down here. So grab yourself a piece of pizza and make the paddle back there. Feel free to visit the property on your own time. A little bit about our business. We are more of a self-serve business model. So going through that with you, um, touching on some more photos. I just wanna show you what the deer stand looks like and some of the grassy area. 
there's an old deer stand, um, turtle on the property. And we've got Onyx going. So if you have Onyx on your phone, you'll see your dot walking around the property. You'll be able to walk it. This is the grassy area. You can see this. All right, we are just standing on the amount. southeast kind of quadrant of the of the I don't want to keep you and then also some cattails so. and then that transitions back into the really great job by forest the photographer with a lot of we had out here trees. really spectacular job but that's that's an understatement so it's so a lot of good content if you want all these photos they're not all on the website let us know we can get those to you just request for all the photos in this photo album there's videos from our photographer from when i went out there um so there's a lot of good stuff in here i want to try and get to the access point too and show you what it looks like but when you're out there it's pretty self-explanatory Here's another um, kind of an archery station and another deer stand or blind. So going on, again, a really cool recreational property. What I would do is bring a weed whacker in there, um, clear it out a little bit, make a camping spot. You could slowly bring material out there to, to build little cabins or shacks and you know bring the bow out there, have a good time. The, you could put a dock in. So some of the neighbors had docks as well. That's what was cool about the property is that you know, some of these other neighbors, and again, there's a put in, I'll zoom back in on it. You can just walk right down there. There's a little section here to put in, a little section here to put in. Um, it's probably about 10, 12 feet once you get in here. Um, it's a low year. So again, there's docks on this riverway that I'm not seeing in any of these photos right this second, but you'll see them out there. That's an idea, a little bit of bass fishing off the end of your dock. So fish, hunt, bring the bow out there, you know, geek out, get a little campsite set up, enjoy, you know, as private as it gets um, out on your own property. So own some land in Ottertail County. Give me a call if you have any questions. Wanted to go over some of these things for you. We have the app Onyx. I've got a link. You can even download this and it opens up on Google Earth. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have other properties in Ottertail too. Get with us if you're in the market for some property. Um, we've got some information here. And my name's Miles. My number is 605 250 1256. Thanks for watching. I'll show you what this Google Earth file does for you quick. If you have Google Earth on your computer, this is kind of a cool app as well when you're looking at vacant land. So, um, again, our company is Wilco Land. We offer seller financing for these properties. We're open to cash offers. Looking for a recreational property, a piece of land to, to pass down in Ottertail County to the next generation. Look no further. This 18 plus acre has you counted. Take care and have a good one.